Morning, Andoni. Good morning. Um, I don't want to sound like a broken record. Seven games in the Premier League, no win. How do you change that this weekend? Um, we we knew it was a possibility. Obviously, we didn't want to be here. We didn't want. We, we wanted to be with with more points. But um, now I think I I, I perceive like in the next next uh, games we will see where we are exactly as a as a football team and uh, the first uh, chance we have. Uh, to 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 obtain the the first win is tomorrow Everton away a uh, club that is uh, with us in the in the standings and I think it's it's a good chance. You've dropped eight points from winning positions, which shows you're doing something right. There's a positivity about the way you start games, but clearly things are are not ending the way you like. Does there need to be a change of philosophy or a change of approach when you get into those positions, or do you carry on playing the way you are? No, especially I think the both both games we've lost after uh, after scoring first is Liverpool away and Brighton away, where we started really well those games, but we couldn't keep the the same level for the 90 minutes. Um, I think uh, we we need a full compact game, 90 minutes. And especially we need not to make defensive errors that cost goals. At the end, the other day, we didn't play well after the first 20 minutes, but we concede two easy penalties. At the end, there two goals. First goal is okay, it's a bit strange. There is a rebound, yes, but we lose the position. So this, uh, these big errors in, in our boxes are taking us from the, from the points, I think. Obviously, it's frustrating for you as a manager. You set the team up, you have a, a plan, and moments in games are costing you. How do you eliminate those? How do you stop players making errors? Or is this just something that will happen? Yes, this is. Uh, it's not like it's a matter of luck or a matter of no or rebound or second balls or no, no. You have to be focused 90 minutes, and that's what the big teams do. They don't make mistakes, in the especially in in their own box. And we have to be really focused, even if you are, because some players, ha they have played amazing games. They, you make just one mistake, it costs you one goal. And your very good game becomes a bad game, because at the end, you've done a lot of very good things, difficult, uh, difficult one against ones, difficult defensive duels. And at the end, it's just three seconds, you lose your, your focus, and, uh, and uh, it's, it's not worth it. Yeah. But for you personally, no change in game plan, no change in philosophy. You're going to carry on doing things the way you want to, to yes, do. Yes, we have very clear what we want to do, how we want to do it. We know that we have to be better what, in the things we are doing. But uh, we, we know uh, how we are going to try to do the things. Yeah, it's very clear. As you've touched upon up next, Everton, um, they have a 100% losing record at Goodison Park so far this season. Does that make things easier for you or harder knowing that that environment has not been kind to the team but the atmosphere that's created by the fans could be another big factor for them as a positive? No, uh, it is too early to take, okay, because ha they haven't won now in these three, four games. Okay, it's too early to take big conclusions, you know. It's in every individual game, something happened. Uh, I, I, I feel that... Uh, They've been uh, the better side in a lot of games they've played. It's true, especially the players that uh, the, the games they've played at home. Uh, the other day, I think they were better. Wolves game, they were better. They 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 won a very good match uh, against Brentford away. They are very good uh, in in certain uh, aspects of the game. We have to be ready to defend a lot of crosses. They they have they have very good wingers. I don't know the two that will start, but they have very good wingers. They have a lot of players arriving to the box, and they are having chances. They are having chances. So we have to be ready to defend a lot of crosses, to defend set plays, uh, because uh, they are one of the best doing these things. Yeah. Sean Dyche is an experienced Premier League manager. Um, statistically, he he loves playing Bournemouth because he wins most of the time seven yeah, games he's won know, he's, just dead, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's won the last five but it has a very different style to a lot of other Premier League sides 
when you do your analysis, when you look at ways to try and to beat Everton, what, what, what comes to mind about his approach? I know you touched on, on it a little bit there. Yes, I think uh, they are physically very powerful. They have players that cover a lot of space. That's why they are so good in second balls with Ducure, Ayonana, and they have they make big the their their their, their pitch. Uh, they have, uh, as I said before, very good wingers. So we have to be ready. Even Pickford with his long balls, his kick is very very long. So you have to be ready in in two three seconds to defend inside your box. It reminds me a little bit the game we played in Brentford. It's not the same, but this kind of game where you feel you are good and then you are defending uh, even a, a long a free kick or you have to be very good in, inside your, your box. In terms of team news, I know there's been a few welcome returns. Just could you update us on who's available, who's struggling? Yeah, the availability will be the same that past week. I don't think we are... Yeah, we, there are no changes, so uh, we will be the same players as past week against Arsenal. And Tyler Adams, of course, has been slowly working his way back to fitness. We see him get a little bit of action recently. Is he now in a position to start a game for this club, bearing in mind there was a significant investment? No, no, Tyler, um, we don't expect him soon again with us. I think they are medical staff is analyzing the situation. They are asking different uh, specialists to to take the, the, the best route, route we have. And uh, we, we still haven't decided, but uh, we whatever the solution he takes or, or we take, we don't expect him soon on the on the pitch. Thank you. Is it the same problem that he arrived with? Yeah, it's the same hamstring, yeah. So did that happen in the League Cup game or...? I, he's not feeling well. He played some minutes because he wanted to give it a try, but he's, he, he didn't have good sensations. And uh, now we are in a... OK, we stop because something is not going well, because you've done all the all the previous things, so you should be ready to to perform now and things are not going well, so um, we we have to think in, in another solution, yeah. I think even a, a surgery is not out of the question, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a possibility because we have to make sure that once we have him, we have him with any issue, 100%. And I think they are they are analyzing everything now, and and, and now we have to to take a decision. Yeah. How did you react to that setback? How big a blow is it? Yeah, obviously it's a, he, he, we we've talked a lot about him. He's a very important uh, player for for us in his position, also because of his uh, character. Even if he's still young, his experience, he has some leadership that is really good for the team. But it is what it is. It is we cannot change. How's he? Because it must be a huge setback for him after being out for so long and then thinking he's back. Yeah, I think uh, it has been hard for him because he has been pushing. Uh, he wanted uh, to be as soon as possible with us to help the team. But uh, we, we cannot change. I think after the surgery he had past season, things haven't gone well, haven't gone well. So probably there was something that was not uh, correct and and, and uh, he has to find another solution yeah. as well as the likes of Lewis and Joe Rothwell have, have coped in that that hole in the midfield that was left by Jefferson Lerma how big a hole is that how big an issue uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the performance of Lou that is the one that is starting past uh, past games also Joe against the stock I think he he played really well so I think they are doing pretty good job. Um, we are uh, probably um, changing. The other day we started with Ryan a little lower than Philip. I think both of the players are more kind of at number 10s, you know, but we need someone else there to connect in between these six and eight and, and, and 10 and depending on the 
on the on the opponents we have different options with with Ryan with Philip with Junior with uh, even Lou or Joe who could step a little bit uh, more you no know, we have to to find the the the, the right partnerships there and thinking back to, to to last weekend the performance was was so different to previous yeah how do you tend to react to a defeat on a Saturday night and a Sunday? How does it affect you? And was this weekend different because of the, the type of performance? Yes, I think we we talked after the game because uh, we, we obviously you can lose against Arsenal. We lost some games before, but uh, I was really happy from the first uh, six games we played in the league with our things, but I was happy. But the other day, I think we played properly for 20 minutes and after these 20 minutes we considered the goal and we started mm, not pushing with the same intensity and uh, that's not what uh, who we want to be so uh, we I think we we kind of reset we've trained really well this week and I hope tomorrow we have a good performance against Brighton straight after half time they scored and went ahead yeah. against Arsenal not quite so soon after half time, but again soon gave away the penalty. Is there something in your half time team talks that needs to change? <laughs> I don't know. Against the stock was completely different. You know, we played that in the first half. We were much better after half time. Uh, the, the, the thing is, you have to be good for 90 minutes. At least you don't have to, whenever because it's difficult to play perfect 90 minutes, but when you are in your best moments, you don't have to concede. You have to survive these five, ten minutes, especially when you play away, that you know you are going to have. Uh, wherever you play, this, where they are pushing, where there is momentum, to go through these five, ten minutes without conceding, I think it's a thing of maturity in a team that we need, we need to find.